It's evidence Giuseppe Cardinal Versali Sandy, Prefect of the Congregation for Catholic Education and our keynote speaker. His Eminence Orlando Cardinal Quibedo, Archbishop of Cotabato. His Excellency Most Reverend Giuseppe Pinto, Apostolic Nuncio to the Philippines. His Excellency Most Reverend Roberto Magliari, Bishop of San Jose Nueva Ecija. Very Reverend Father Gerard Timoner III, Prior Provincial of the Dominican Province of the Philippines. Reverend Father Jose Kilong-Kilong, President of Loyola School of Theology. Reverend Fathers, Brothers, Sisters, Friends, a very pleasant good morning to you all. We waited for half a century for this great event to happen. With great joy then, I warmly welcome you all to this International Theological Symposium in celebration of the Golden Jubilee of Loyola School of Theology in this Holy Year of Mercy. I especially welcome Cardinal Bersani. I would like to thank most profoundly His Eminence for taking time out and gracing this occasion. Now, it can no longer be doubted that Loyola School of Theology is a Catholic institution. <laughs> Thanks to the LST community led by Father Pilon Pilon for bringing us all together in this happy event. Today, we are deeply grateful to the Lord for Loyola School of Theology's 50 years of leading and serving through theology. We thank the many professors, the people who serve this institution, our administrators, staff. They labor selflessly for this community. We thank the cardinals, bishops, priests, religious and lay people who graduated from this institution and have become fitting instruments in the service of God and the Church. We have come a long way, thanks to the mercies of the Lord. We were initially a school of 15 students, but now we are 413 students coming from numerous religious congregations and dioceses. We initially started as a theologian, mainly for Jesuit scholastics, Filipino seminarians, and a few religious formants. But now, a third of our students, including lay people, come from 36 countries. We were an affiliate of Puran University in Taipei, but now some theologians are applying to become affiliates of LST. We were initially and predominantly a teaching institution, but now we see a growing interest in research and generation of new theological reflections that inform our leadership in and service to the church. In the end, however, it is not all about successes and achievements that count, but the mercies of the Lord that kept LSD going despite the many challenges. We really have nothing to boast. We are just mystified by the graciousness of God. We seek nothing else but the glory of God. Congratulations, Loyola School of Theology. Way to go. May God bless us all in these days of the symposium. Thank you all.